Good evening, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, a couple of hours to market open. Now, what I want to do is a quick dive into a uh, deeper dive into gold. You, you all know I love to trade gold. So um, I'm just, you know, I like to look at it. I want to look at it a bit deeper. Yes, I did uh, my weekly analysis on a couple of pairs, but I just did an overview. And what I want to do with this is I just want to um, break it down as I prepare myself as well for the market, right? Um, so I had said gold is bullish, right? It's looking bullish and it will likely open bullish. Okay, that's really my high probability opinion. Um, but disclaimer, guys, um, anything I share on my channel does not um, amount to financial advice. Any, if you need financial advice, please seek a financial advisor. I'm just a trader. Uh, not that I'm just a trader. I am a trader but um, not qualified to give you uh, advice about what you should do in the market. So if you need advice, please, yeah, go where, go to the experts, okay? That's out of the way. Um, also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to smash that subscription button and click on the notification bell so that you can stay updated whenever I post a new video. So yes, we are doing a deep dive on gold okay so gold um has been bullish okay for the last two weeks um sorry two the last not two weeks for the last week um we can see last week we definitely um broke some structure at some level and we pushed up aggressively after a bit of a retrace um, earlier in the in the in the session, uh, or rather earlier in the week. Um, so right now, like I said, in my opinion, we are looking like um, we want to take out the weekly liquidity zone up here. Um, we do have interesting levels way up here. Um, but I'm just interested in us going past um, or targeting the 1833.29 level. Okay, so that's my initial target, which is um, possibly 148, 50 pips away from where the market closed on Friday. Now, Obviously, there are many reasons why um, uh, someone would argue why gold um, pushed up. You know, some people would be like, um, possibly it's because the dollar index has been dropping or dropped last week. Um, you know, uh, fundamentally, in that sense, you know, talking about let's say the 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 Fed's you know um, policies that remained. Um, uh, pretty dovish, you know, um, to tapering uh, concerns, blah, 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 etc. E e now, guys, I'm not a fundamental expert trader in terms of um, understanding the fundamentals. Uh, I'm highly technical. So, my reason why I know gold or why I feel gold is going to push up, okay, um, because there's a lot of pending liquidity here and it's been here for a while, okay. When gold pushed away here, it left some pending liquidity up here. Um, and I feel like it needs to take care of that business before it resumes any uh, move down. So I would want to see it, you know, push up and then push down and take out more liquidity here now, more sell side liquidity. So we'll probably go for the buy side liquidity and then drop for the sell side liquidity. So that's my take, okay? Um, but when let me look at it from uh, let me dial it down a bit. So um, so this is where we are at on the daily. I mean, um, if I this is what this is um, June, okay. So we also have some interesting levels up here, okay. That I don't I wouldn't want to. Okay. Um, for the sake of 
so I'll just, I mean, this is on the daily, uh, daily end of things. So we have a high of 1940. That's pretty, pretty high. But I'm not, uh, I'm not going to like um, be surprised if it attempts to get up here. Okay. So we may see the push up, take out liquidity, and then possibly push back down. Okay. And then continue on its way up. So we could either bounce off back down to the 1789, maybe even break structure, okay? But my bias right now, guys, is still bullish long-term, okay? So whatever happens with retracements and everything, um, unless something happens on market open, unless something happens this week um, in the news, or fundamentally, I'm still gunning that gold will push up, retrace, okay? Um, hit some interesting level of structure here, and then we shall continue on our way up. So if I mark this out here as well, um, this is also an interesting zone on the daily. Let me look at the eight hour. I don't wanna upgrade. I don't wanna up I don't know why it keeps asking me to upgrade. I don't need to upgrade trading view to anything. I am happy. Oh yeah, maybe it's because of the time, the custom time of the gotcha. So I probably have to upgrade to be able to look at the eight hour time interval. I'll do that later. So this is where we are at. So if you look at it even on uh, you know, like gold has been in this range. Okay, since June, okay, mid June, all through gold has been this range. And um, it might attempt to break through. That is my, my take. Like, honestly, even as I look at it, dialing it down, I, I, I highly think that um, we will push up. Okay, we will push up, take out those highs. So what we see here, we took out these levels here, took out liquidity up here, um, up here, and um, yeah, definitely. So on the one hour, you know, it's interesting how it's looking. Uh, let me see, did we test this zone? Actually, when I look at it now on the lower time frame, let me see this. Uh, Okay, let me go on the lower time frame. Minutes. Okay, so what we are seeing is, you know, gold has been on this push up, okay. Um, this is a fifth of November, so basically, 
we took out all the highs, previous highs. Um, and and we so we broke structure here. Yeah? So we actually could, because this is on the lower time frame, we we could retrace back into this level here, you know, where where price pushed up. Okay. There is potential to do that. But I only really be looking at that when I see some of these lower zones being taken out. So right now, I'm not even thinking um, about that right now. And and going follow. Um, the fact that last week also uh, was pretty, pretty volatile. You know, last week was NF, um, so the week was very, very volatile. There was a lot of news. And so we, as the London session opens uh, tonight, or rather to uh, Asian market opens tonight, and then London thereafter, I think we may see, you know, and this is just a sign of how things are looking in the market, like this, we can see that we closed with, with low volume um, in the market, and we might see that Monday may just end up being a low volume uh, trading morning. Um, Asian market will want to see what happens in the Asian, will there be liquidity? Um, because really after a very high volatility, um, like this is, I mean, volatility, if I look at it in terms of just the basic understanding, price just rallied, you know, this is in one day's movement. Okay, um, gold moved um, several hundred pips, over 320 pips, okay, over 320 pips. So we may see a bit of consolidation or um, possibly redistribution happening here um, or, uh, or reaccumulation happening here. So if we don't break out to the upside, we may see some sideways movement, okay? Um, because those are really strong um, and consistent rally to the top. If I go on the one hour again, you can see this a bit better, okay? You see this strong rally up base rally. Um, so we may consolidate a bit before we continue to take out the uh, weekly liquidity zone. So that's really what I'm looking at. Um, and if we don't break out the upside, guys, we probably will come and try and test um, the lower levels here. And, you know, so we probably, so we are either two options, um, consolidate, 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 make us, and then possibly push up and then push down and then push up. Okay, so that's one option. Or alternatively, we could just, you know, consolidate and then push down before we, we, we see any kind of move to the upside. So that's basically the two moves I would be looking out for. Um, if you watched my video on the five, um, steps I take when I'm looking at a trade to determine whether when to enter the market, you'll be able to use that to then determine um, when to get into the market once you see some kind of um, clear structure okay happening, especially when you see shifts in the in, in the price, you know, when literally you can see price has shifted. You know, like for example, when I say shifted, I mean there was a push up um, and we can see you know, we broke a, a zone, a level here, we broke structure here, we pushed up and then we just didn't continue. So price shifted to the upside prior, there was a downtrend happening here. Okay, it was literally on a downtrend and then now it broke structure to shift to the upside. So when you see uh, massive shifts, shifts like that, you then be followed by some a bit of consolidation. And if not, we may continue to just take out the liquidity and then drop or drop first and then go up and grab the liquidity um, up. But 
Remember guys, we are bullish long term. So whatever you're going to do is you're going to be looking at um, whatever happens in between, where will be the best place for you to get in at a discounted price, okay? In terms of, the, uh, in terms of pricing, like how, how low can you buy? Okay, you don't want to be buying up here. Okay, this is not necessarily the best place to want to start buying the market. Um, you'd want to be buying down here. So that's what you should be looking out for this week. Um, yes, and so I hope this uh, um, extended deeper dive into gold kind of brings in more perspective as to why I think um, um, it's bullish and what you know this this kind of price action that might happen. Why I think that as well. So guys, please put a thumbs up and see you soon, guys.